Wonder Woman versus Magneto. The Amazonian warrior, daughter of the gods, is going up against the mutant master of magnetism. So who's winning here? Who's coming out on top? And really, why is this fight much closer than you might think? Well, let's break it down. Born to Queen Hippolyta, and blessed by the Greek gods to become as beautiful as Aphrodite, wise as Athena, stronger than Hercules, and swifter than Mercury, Diana of Themyscira was born destined for greatness. One fateful day, a U.S. Air Force pilot named Steve Trevor accidentally crashed into the Amazon's island paradise of Themyscira. Captivated with the idea of seeing the world outside of her home, Diana competed with her fellow Amazons to win the right to return Trevor to the United States. She won and was granted her signature armor, sword, and lasso, forged by Hephaestus himself, before taking Trevor to the mainland. After seeing the conflict that raged across the world outside, well, Diana decided to use her incredible gifts to fight evil and defend the innocent. It's one of the world's mightiest heroes, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman is without a doubt one of the physically strongest heroes in all of DC Comics. She's up there with the likes of Kryptonians like Superman and gods like Ares and Hercules. As just a toddler, she was able to shatter meteors. She's one of the few people capable of moving planets by hand, We've seen her teaming up with Superman and Green Lantern to move the moon before. Teamed up with Superman and Martian Manhunter to move the Earth. And she's helped Superman to lift the specter before, who is heavy as all eternity. With all that strength and power, while Diana can obviously throw one heck of a punch, she's been able to fight a Supergirl, fight against Power Girl, hurt Darkseid and Doomsday, knock out Black Adam and Green Lantern. She's even managed to overpower Superman himself from time to time. Yeah, no doubt about it, Wonder Woman is one of the strongest heroes alive. And cause she's just that powerful, well, Wonder Woman can obviously take some serious hits too. She can take punches and attacks from Superman, Supergirl, Zod, Doomsday, Green Lantern, Shazam, and even Darkseid. None of them are strong enough to put her down for good. She'll just keep on getting back up and keep on fighting every time. She can take massive explosions, even point-blank universe-ending blast. She can casually survive inside of black holes, and Diana is way, way tougher when you factor in her bracelets of submission. I mean, these bracelets are powerful enough to block Darkseid's Omega Beams absolutely no problem. She was even completely unscathed after taking a full-on blast from the combined power of all the Olympian gods at once. Wonder Woman is insanely tough. She's also definitely one of the top 10 fastest heroes in all of DC. She's comparable to Superman in a lot of their fights. Batman even said that her reaction time is better. And Diana is actually proven to be faster than Supergirl. She can hit reverse flash while blindfolded, and her speed just consistently shows up in pretty much every fight she's been in. There's even the insanely impressive time when she blocked parts of the Shattered Gods. These were trillions and trillions of different fragments coming at her and traveling through the universe at faster than light speeds. She is stupid fast. But while Wonder Woman is seriously, seriously physically powerful, one of the greatest things going for her in any fight is just her own fighting skill and ability. She's one of the best fighters in the DC universe, to the point where she can fight against most of the Justice League while blindfolded. She's able to fight against Zod and Feyora at the same time. She's fought against Ares, the literal god of war. And she's even fought on par with Superman plenty of different times. In fact, there have been times where Batman has chosen Wonder Woman to save the day over Superman, primarily because of the perfect combination of her power and skill. Diana doesn't just have to fight hand-to-hand -hand either. 
because she's always got a ton of godly weapons that she carries and fights. Like the Lasso of Truth, an unbreakable lasso that Wonder Woman is an absolute master at using in battle. Her sword can cut down to the atomic level, capable of injuring beings as powerful as Darkseid and Doomsday. Like we've already settled the braces of submission, well they can block pretty much everything that comes their way. Wonder Woman is easily one of the most powerful heroes in the DC Universe. Up there with the likes of Shazam, Martian Manhunter, and even Superman himself. Eric Lyncher is the Omega level mutant known as Magneto, the master of magnetism. As a boy, he was forced to endure the atrocities performed by the Nazis, but after escaping, he learned that he had the mutant ability to manipulate all forms of magnetism. While his best friend Charles Xavier believes that humans and mutants can coexist, Magneto's past has caused him to see a much darker side of reality, and so his goal is to protect mutant kind no matter what, ensuring that mutants become the dominant species on Earth. Magneto is confirmed to be an Omega level mutant, meaning that his mutant power has no true upper limit, see even to the point where Jean Grey called him the most powerful mutant on the planet. Professor X said that Magneto doesn't truly know his own potential, but that magnetism is one of the four foundation elements of the universe, with the Phoenix Force being one of the other foundational elements. So when you're getting talked up like that, well you know Magneto is seriously powerful. Magneto can do a lot of stuff with his powers but his most common form of attack is just controlling metal and throwing it all around. And on one hand, while Magneto has some incredibly precise control over this power, throwing around shrapnel, turning someone's weapons against them, or even manipulating the metal and iron flowing through the human body, either controlling and overpowering people that way, or just completely wrecking them. Like when he wiped out Vision, or removed all the adamantium from Wolverine's body. But then on the other end of the spectrum, well, Magneto has some serious, serious power when it comes to magnetism. He's been able to hurl around planet-sized asteroids and satellites. He can shatter mountains and trigger earthquakes. He's had no problem overpowering Iron Man or even Red Hulk. Then there was a time Magneto managed to pull the Break World Bullet, a city-sized bullet floating way outside the solar system, and send it hurtling towards the Earth at the speed of light. Magneto is seriously powerful when it comes to his control over metal. But it's not just metal, Magneto is the master of magnetism, which means he can manipulate and control everything on the electromagnetic spectrum. With all that power, Will Magneto has been able to create magnetic shields capable of blocking attacks from the Hulk, from Thor, from Hercules, and Doctor Doom, and Ghost Rider, and even Cosmic Spider-Man and the Phoenix Force. When Magneto doesn't want to get hit, well, odds are he's not getting hit. He can control and manipulate electricity, even the electrical nerves running through someone's body, to the point where he can shut people down with an EMP blast, or even take over a celestial and control its nervous system. He can fire out blasts capable of knocking around beings like Sentry, or hold down and knock back all the X-Men at once. He's even momentarily stopped an incursion before which is either two planets colliding into each other or two entire universes, depending upon how you want to read it. Basically, when Magneto is operating at his best, well, he's definitely up there in the Marvel Universe. He's not just one of the most powerful mutants, but one of the most powerful heroes, period. So, who wins here? Well, let's break it down. Now, obviously, Wonder Woman is incredible incredibly powerful. It's not really a stretch to say she's more powerful than Magneto, but Magneto also has had no problem 
fighting against people on Diana's level in the past. He's regularly held his own against the Hulk, Thor, Hercules, whether that's ranging from blasting them around, holding them back with his shields, or even nearly killing them with his power. So it's definitely not just a slam dunk for Wonder Woman. Magneto can create shields that hold her back, because he's done it before. He can knock her around with blast, because he's done it before. Heck, it's entirely possible that Magneto is actually able to just amp himself physically to the point where he can fight against her one on one. Like during his fight against Iron Man, while Magneto was reaching out to every planet and sun in the solar system and was amping himself with all that power, to the point where he was punching Tony with the force of planets and stars. The only reason that he lost was because while he was reaching out and absorbing that power, well, he accidentally felt the Phoenix Force, and that was enough. In this version of Iron Man's armor, well, it's enough to fight on par with Thor. It also really, really doesn't help that Wonder Woman carries a lot of metal weapons on her either. Heck, she's even wearing metal, and Magneto loves his metal. It is totally possible, probably even very likely, that Magneto takes all this metal and uses it against Diana, turning her own sword against her, crushing her inside her own armor, even just simply redirecting her fist when she tries to throw a punch, making her hit herself. All of those are serious possibilities. And just because Wonder Woman's metal is godly and divine, well, that doesn't exempt it from Magneto's control. Just look at Thor and Mjolnir. It also really, really doesn't help that Wonder Woman has a weakness to piercing attacks. Now, granted, it's a really weird and really stupid weakness, but it does exist. One of the reasons why she has to block every bullet that's coming her way versus just standing there like a human shield like Superman. And one of Magneto's go-to tactics is just throwing metal shrapnel at his enemies. Magneto definitely has the power and potential to be a serious threat to Wonder Woman here. I mean, if he can hold back Thor, manipulate Hercules' insides, he can definitely do something to Diana. But I also think that's kind of discrediting just how powerful Wonder Woman is, and really just how fast she is too. Like if Wonder Woman so chooses, Magneto isn't touching her here. She's regularly blocked light speed attacks, attacks from Superman. She's consistently tagged members of the Flash family, even been able to stop trillions of shards flying at her millions of times the speed of light. Wonder Woman is fast, fast. Magneto isn't throwing metal quick enough to hit her. And while it's totally possible that Magneto can move around planets on the extreme upper ends of his power, doing so will literally kill him. Wonder Woman is able to do stuff like that easily and fight against that kind of power level on a routine basis. There's also just the fact that for as powerful as Magneto is, or how powerful he should be, he doesn't tend to fight on that level. He's usually very simple with his powers and doesn't tend to think outside of just throwing metal around. I mean, just look at his fight against Iron Man. He lost to Iron Man, a dude in a metal suit. And I know, I know, Iron Man had technically built a suit out of carbon instead of metal, but it really shouldn't matter. At his best, Magneto has so many different powers at his beck and call that he should beat Iron Man in an instant. Even just his ability to control electricity, well, Tony shouldn't even have gotten close. But instead, what Magneto did was create his own suit of metal armor and tried to fist fight Tony. My point is that Magneto could theoretically be up there with a higher tier of hero, but he's never been able to show that consistently. 
and probably the best answer as to why is just that he doesn't really fight with his full power at all times. He might not even know what his full power entirely is. And if that's the case, well, I don't think he's beating Wonder Woman. She is infinitely stronger. She's way tougher. She's way faster. She's a better fighter. Her having metal all over definitely throws a wrench in things, but I don't think it's enough for her to lose every time. For as great as Magneto's shields are, she's powerful enough to break through them if Cyclops blasts can. She's tough enough to take everything Magneto can throw at her, and that's not even mentioning being fast enough to not even be touched. She's just more powerful, and she's gonna win. Wonder Woman wins. But what do y'all think? Sound off in the comments down below. I know you're gonna have thoughts and feelings on this one for sure. If you stuck around this long and made it to the end of the video, that's amazing. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting us. And if you wanna go subscribe, well, go subscribe. You're gonna see more videos like this one every single week. I'll see y'all then. I'll see y'all next time.